Hi, this is Lily from Plantas y Más and welcome to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to be speaking to you about the lovely pest known as a mealybug. Um, if this is your first time visiting, thank you for visiting and welcome. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe, like this, like this video and watch other one of my past videos. Um, if you're interested in knowing how I'm battling mealybugs, please stay tuned. Today I want to speak to you about the mealybug and how it's affecting my wonderful and beautiful syngonium. I got this syngonium at a uh, nursery nearby and unfortunately i didn't think to because there were several there so i picked the one that i liked the most but i didn't think to really look through the leaves and see if there were any pests there on the plants because if i wouldn't notice the pests i would have never purchased the plant because you know dealing with i've dealt with mealybugs in the past and dealing and and other pests aphids and etc and dealing with pests, uh, it's not fun at all. So the way there's several ways to deal with pests in your plants, and the way you can catch them, you know, early is by constantly or often and off getting into your plants, looking through the leaves, or if you notice any change in your plants, or you're noticing anything that could look different than what a healthy plant will look like even if it looks healthy look through the leaves look through the through the through everything through, through the whole plant to make sure you do not notice any bugs or any pests if there's any pest in there you want to take care of that right off the bat because if you allow them to grow oh my god they will take over and they will attack all your other plants in your home or outside in your yard and it is a pain to get rid of them because they multiply really fast their life cycle is really quick so um i'm gonna insert pictures somewhere in here of the ones that i saw here on this plant and what they look like in case you don't know you know what a, if you're new and you don't really to plants and you don't really know what a, a mealybug looks like i'll show you um and I also show you like when looking for signs if you're looking at the leaves um there's like this little sticky looking wet residue on it sometimes um to look in the folds of the leaves or in between the stems and everything look deep because they can be anywhere um so there's several ways to get rid of them right what I'm using because I have a kitty my kitty tacos is only seven months old and regardless he's an animal right he's a, a pet and i want to take care of him and make sure he's safe in my home so he likes to at this stage he's he likes to sniff when the soil's wet he likes to sniff into the soil and sometimes he tries to eat it eat something in there i don't know what piece i don't know if it's whatever he's interested in he tries to eat it so um i try to be careful of what it is that i'm applying on my plants just in case because i really don't want him sick and i don't need to be running into a vet in an emergency trying to save my uh, my cat so i try to avoid um pesticides or things that will harm him inside of my home because there are several ways like i said to treat these pests and the way that i treat these pests I, it works for them and it also works for my orchids that's how i started and that's how i learned about how to take care of them you know uh, in a natural way and um i've been using it ever since um i was a little frustrated initially because it's been i want to say three or four weeks now no not quite four maybe two or three weeks now that i've been dealing with this and i still see you know one or two but what i noticed was that when i was more consistent meaning every day doing it every day that they have diminished and i really don't see it but i'll keep 
spraying for another couple of days until I'm absolutely sure that there is none left. <laughs> because mm, they multiply way too quick and then you're back at square one anyways let me tell you what i use i take a spray bottle oh, i don't have it in here um i take a spray bottle i fill it up with water i take two or three squirts of non-fragrant dish soap um, i use myers so it's pretty safe to use um and I mix in there into that bottle. Also, I add alcohol into the bottle, 70% alcohol. And I mix it up, shake it up, and I spray the foliage over the top, underneath the leaves and the stems. I just saturate the plant with this mixture that I have. And I do so um, now every single day until i look through my plant and i see zero signs of anything that might resemble a mealy bug that's how bad i do not like these bugs another way to do it people spray just plain alcohol if your um issue is minimal you can actually take a little cotton swab or um anything with cotton or q-tip and dip it in or add some alcohol to it and apply it directly on the little mealy bug and it will kill the mealy bugs um if there's not that many you can do it to every you know every look in every nook and cranny and apply the alcohol that way um you can spray the alcohol as long as it's 70 percent. anything stronger than that like 90 percent or all, it may uh, burn your leaves off and you know not a pretty look but 70% alcohol seems to be okay with the plants. People also do the same thing. They'll saturate the whole plant every day until you see no more. Um, you can also add the um, neem oil. Um, people do it with water and mix neem oil and water. Neem oil, water, and alcohol. Neem, you know, they do concoctions. They make concoctions and they spray them to make sure that and it's always saturation because that's what's going to get as long as it touches the the mealy bug it's going to kill them and you want to repeat it because like i said their cycle is quick it's fast their life cycle so they reproduce really quickly you know and you want to get to those little eggs to the babies you know that are gonna maybe lay the eggs that are laid there and now they turn into babies etc so people also use systemic uh, granules to add to the soil on top of the soil to help with the control of the mealy bugs or any other of the pests that are you know that you can get on a plant but for that you have to get rid of the um the adults or the ones that are growing first with a spray right or manually um the granules won't take care of those you have to take care of those yourself right before you know because if not they're they'll keep going um there's also a spray that gets used you um and i can't remember the names right now yeah I'm having a hard time remembering the names but i'll add them here on the screen the names of the different ways you can use to treat your plant to um to kill off these uh mealy bugs and you just have to be consistent because initially like i was saying it's taken me this long to truly see a difference because initially i was inconsistent i would i would spray one day and then i'll wait two or three days and then i'll spray again then what maybe wait another two days right and it's giving <laughs> the mealy bugs a chance to continue reproducing and you know coming out of that little egg and continue the cycle so once i started spraying daily soaking them daily that really put a stop to it and um i don't have i don't have it close to my other plants um meaning it's not touching any other plant but it is in the same room at this point 
So I check all my other plants in the room to make sure that if I see any sign, I am going to go and attack. <laughs> I'm gonna put on my armor and start spraying. <laughs> spraying away until I get rid of them because it works. It does work, you know. People have options and choices on how they want to, to um, get rid of pests. These pests in their home. Um, I choose a more natural approach because like I said, I have a cat in my home and um, I don't wanna harm him. And I also used to have a, a dog and she passed away. So, you know, those are all things that I always thought about because, you know, their lives matter to me. So I made sure that whatever I was using to treat my plants would not affect them. And, um, if you have any questions or concerns or you want to say anything, please do so in the comments below. Um, I'll be sure to answer. I'll add um, the mixture that I'm using in the description as well and other things that you can use, um, other options of things you can use to help you treat any mealybugs. Um, I tell you they're not fun at all. And I'm sure if you watch any other videos, they will say the same thing. They suck seeing that prevention or as soon as you see it start taking care of it so that it doesn't become overwhelming because it can quickly become overwhelming um thank you so much for watching thank you for visiting my channel i'll give it a thumbs up like i mentioned before if you haven't subscribed subscribe um watch for more content visit me on my instagram i'll add my handle here and i thank you once again and you have a great day bye